Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. I am out here in this lovely snow to check out the iHood heated jacket and vest. Now, one of the things I really appreciate about the iHood jacket and vest is the control system. You actually have pretty fine grain controls over how warm the jacket or the vest get. And you control that by not only picking which things come on at which time, but also how warm it gets. You've got three different temperature settings and you have three different heating element placement areas, a front kind of belly warmer. There's one in the back and there is also one in the neck area, which seems to be pretty unusual for jackets of this kind. Even though I'm just standing here right now on the lowest setting, I am already getting pretty warm in this. At the high red setting, this jacket is gonna get very warm very quickly. Now what you can do on the controls is you have three settings. There's red for high, white for medium, and blue for low. Now I am a pretty hot hiker. I am already getting warm in this, so I have switched it to the low setting. Let me give you a tour of the jacket itself. Starting from the top, you do have a hood. This is a zip off, so you don't need to keep it if you don't want it. There are elastic toggles to cinch it down. You also have Velcro connections for the neck. On the outside, you do have waterproof YKK zippers. You've got a cool upper arm pocket. Merica, baby. There is also a wrist pocket. These go in about this deep up to about my knuckles. And you have the same pockets on both sleeves. The sleeves fasten with a Velcro retention strap. On both sides, you also have chest pockets. These actually go inside, Napoleon style. And if all those pockets aren't enough, on the inside, you have a zippered storage pocket. Another one up top. These are actually fairly deep. Another one on the other side. The only pocket you don't wanna use is this one down here, because this is the pocket that contains the battery pack that is running the coat or jacket. This is pretty simple. You just plug it in, turn it on with the button on the side. It tucks away in here and disappears. Inside, you also have additional adjustment straps to tighten the coat down. The front pockets are also zippered with waterproof zippers. They're not super deep. They only go to the, like the beginning of my wrist, but they will keep your hands warm if you need them. The jacket itself is plenty warm. It just makes a good jacket. It is highly water resistant. It is a synthetic insulated fill which keeps the price down, but makes the jacket a bit bulky and a bit heavier than it would be if it was a lighter weight down jacket. Now with all these features, the jacket is fairly heavy, especially when you add in that 10 ounce battery pack. The coat with the battery pack came in on my scale at 52 and a half ounces. The vest, on the other hand, came in at 20.5, 30.5 with the battery pack. The vest obviously doesn't have sleeves. Now the pocket arrangement is a bit different on here. You do have two fairly small pockets in the front. Again, barely gets, I can't even get my hand in all the way up past my wrist. On the inside, you do have one zipper pocket in the bottom, just like the jacket, as well as a top one, not very big. On this side, you only have the battery compartment. Now, one thing I will say about these is that I bought them according to the size. I was told on the website, but it did say that they run a bit small, which I can verify. This is pretty tight, especially if you're gonna be using it as your outer layer, which because it is windproof and very water resistant is probably going to be your shell. The hood on the vest does roll up into itself and it gives you this kind of cool Count Dracula collar when you do. In the vest, the hood also has heating elements near the ears. I really wasn't expecting to like this a whole lot. It seemed kind of gimmicky, but oh my gosh, that feels nice. <laughs> It's like, you know that heat you get from a fire? It's just different than what your body heat produces inside insulation. And that's what it feels like, like right here, 
right on the chest. Low starts at 122 and goes up to 131. The medium range clocks in at 131 to 149. You're looking at a temperature range of about 149 to 158 degrees. So it does get extremely warm. That may sound excessive, but keep in mind that you're probably not going to use that setting unless it's very cold outside. And since the jacket is going to be fighting that cold, it's not going to actually be that warm inside the jacket. So you've got a a pretty legitimate 30 or so degree temperature range just with those three controls plus the fact that you can turn different elements on and off as you please once the jacket heats up and your body heat catches up with it and starts using the fill for heating you can always turn it down the battery pack is a 14,400 milliamp battery, and that's going to give you from four and a half to six to eight and a half hours of runtime, depending on whether you use the high, medium, or low settings on the coat or vest. The cool thing about the battery pack is that it uses all three kinds of USB, and it can be used as a charger for some of your devices if you are not using it to heat your coat. Another cool thing about these controls is that you can turn the light off in case you are hunting or something at night and don't want to be seen flashing your vest or jacket lighting. You can turn it back on again to see what your settings are. So overall, I'm very impressed with the way this coat and this vest work. They do the job that they're supposed to. Um, I didn't really ever picture myself as being someone that would go around with an electrified jacket or coat, but I can see how well it would work, especially in really cold conditions when you're not moving around a whole lot, giving your body a chance to kind of catch up with the heat that it needs in order to make the insulation of the jacket work is a great idea. This is not something you're supposed to just keep on hour after hour after hour. Although you could for a while, the idea is really to get your body core temperature up to where it is using the insulation of the coat or fight off freezing cold if you are getting blasted by winds or something. Now you do pay a pretty serious penalty in weight and volume for these pieces of gear, so you're gonna have to decide if the function is gonna be worth it for you. If you're interested in winter layers, I do have videos on those as well. I can pop them up here for you. In the meantime, I'm Doug, this is Backcountry Pilgrim. Thanks for watching.